Hi, Tom here, Allergens Release. So, I've I got a question for you. Do you always have trouble dealing with leftovers? Do you have trouble kind of like trying to figure out how to use them without just like rehashing the same old thing all over again? Well, we're going to touch on that today. Mashed potatoes and I made some marinara that I had left over for other meals. And I'm going to combine those and turn those into one dish today. So let's get started. So start off with one cup of mashed, uh, pre-made mashed potatoes, one cup of gluten-free flour, and one third of a cup of aquafaba, which is the equivalent to two large eggs. So we're just going to dump all that right in. And then I'm just going to start with it in here, start mixing it all together. This way it doesn't end up all over the counter before I'm ready to start kind of rolling it out. I want to try and incorporate as much of that as possible. So that it doesn't like fall all over the place. So. All right, so I'm going to finish this off on, on the counter here. Kind of, and kind of like knead that together, fold it in. Get all that in there. Now these other ingredients up in front of us, this is gonna be for the vodka sauce later on, so. You just want to kind of like bring this all together, make it into a nice dough. And once it's, once you get it kind of where you want it to be, it's going to slowly roll it into a log. So what I do is now that I got it to this log, I cut it into sections. So it's easier for me to work with later on. So, move these out of the way for a couple minutes. So, also going to get a bowl to stop. I want to get some flour to put some in here to kind of keep this from sticking as I finish each section. A tablespoon in here to kind of like shake it up two couple tablespoons just to kind of keep it from sticking as we go so now we're going to roll this out you want it to be about about a half inch thick so you're just going to gently you got to do this gently otherwise it's going to start to break apart And then you do about half inch to each one. Just go straight across with your knife. And there you have gnocchi. So I'm gonna put that in here for now just to keep it from sticking and you know. I'm just gonna continue doing this until I get through the entire dough. It should yield me Roughly about 60 to 100 pieces of gnocchi. So if you're new to the channel, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell for notifications so that you can be reminded of when new videos come up. If you have any questions you want to ask me about these ingredients, all the recipes that I'm creating, or want me to maybe convert something for you that you want to try but you can't because of certain allergens and put it down in the comments below let's have a nice conversation about it maybe tell me how you feel about the recipes that we're creating together what worked for you what didn't work for you and for those of you who don't know the reason i do this 
is because my nephew Caleb has celiac disease, but he also has allergies to eggs, milk, soy, tree nuts, and peanuts. So on top of it, not being able to have wheat and gluten. So I've been cooking for him on and off for years, and I figured I would share some of those recipes with you. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing here, but you can see I'm just flipping this in, kind of moving that around, trying to get an extra coating on there to keep the stem from sticking together. Now the nice thing about gnocchi, you can freeze gnocchi. I'll show you what I mean. So I made these last week and put them in the freezer and you're gonna be able to cook these right from frozen into the water and they'll come out just like those. But so if you have too many mashed potatoes and you don't want you know you have more than enough for one meal, you could always freeze the rest and use them for another time. So right now the gnocchi's done. Turn this up a little higher. So as we cook the gnocchi, we're gonna move into making the vodka sauce. We're gonna actually incorporate the gnocchi as part of the vodka sauce. So we're going to put a little bit of salt and uh, water, a little bit of oil, you want this to be up to a rolling boil before you start cooking your gnocchi because it's only going to take like two minutes for it to cook. Put them in, stop building this sauce, really simple easy meal, I mean I've been, it's taking me less than 20 minutes to make the gnocchi. And now it's going to take me even less time to make the vodka sauce. So another thing you can do with this too, it's something that we do at the restaurant, is people will order a chicken palm with a vodka sauce instead of just a marinara. Now we're at that rolling boil a little bit. It's almost there. You can start to see the bubbles starting to come up. I'm going to start by just dropping some in little by little. Be careful not to get burnt. You don't want to stick your fingers in there. That is hot water. Now that this is heating up, get this a little higher. We're going to put like two tablespoons of canola oil in this pan. And you're going to start to see see all these stuff start to float. Once they're floating, they're done. Once they're moving, see up there? Just Like I said, not even two minutes. I'm gonna take those, I'm gonna put those right in there. And I'm gonna let those start cooking off. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some more in here. So basically, for a family of four, this is what, is what this recipe will feed. You're looking at about 64 total milky about 16 per person, it's about five ounces. So now that we're starting to get that texture on some of those gnocchi, we're gonna start building our vodka sauce. So I'm gonna add a little bit more canola oil, just to be safe. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of salt. One third teaspoon of ground black pepper, my garlic. I'm gonna kind of stir that up a little bit. Turn this down a little bit.
I'll hit this with my flour. Now the extra flour is to just help thicken the sauce a little bit. And then need to be really careful with this. Okay. I'm gonna pull this away from the fire and I'm gonna add my vodka sauce. And the reason I do that is because you don't want the flame to catch the vodka because it'll follow it right back up to where it started. We're gonna let that cook off. That won't take that long. Now that that vodka is cooked off, I'm gonna take two cups of coconut milk. I'm gonna pour that right in there. I'm gonna take my herbs. Now here in our herbs, we have a teaspoon of sage, thyme, rosemary, uh, oregano, parsley, and basil. I'm just gonna put that right in. And I prefer using fresh herbs as opposed to dried herbs just because they release that flavor right away and they add a more depth of flavor. And you can do it at any point in time in the process instead of at the beginning of the process, like with dry herbs. You also have to use less with dry herbs. So like I used a teaspoon, you'd have to use one third of a teaspoon in order to make the same dish. And you'd have to put that in when I put the gnocchi in and the garlic and the salt and pepper so that it has time to bring out all of that flavor because they're concentrated and dried. So, so now I'm gonna let that come together for a little bit until it comes to like a boil. I did forget to give you the ingredient count for this, okay? I know I went through it as I put it in. So just to recap, we started with 64 gnocchi and then we added a teaspoon of salt, a third teaspoon of ground pepper, four tablespoons of minced garlic, um, one teaspoon each of sage, thyme, rosemary, oregano, parsley, and, and basil, and two cups of coconut milk. Coconut milk is starting to thicken up because that, that roux we made between the oil and the flour that we put in there is now starting to thicken up that sauce some. So now this is starting to thicken up, we're gonna add in our two tablespoons of the prepared marinara that we had. And that's gonna add some color to this. It's gonna give it to a nice, uh, kind of like a pink, orangey pink color. Depending on how long you cook it will depend on how much pink is and how much orange there is. So I tend to cook mine a little more because if you go with the really pinker vodka sauce, then that marinara doesn't have a chance to really incorporate itself into the vodka sauce as much. So I would prefer to have it be more involved in the sauce than just color. So we're starting to, uh, this is starting to come together. I'm gonna give this a taste. Good, that's all set. So we're gonna turn that off. I'm gonna grab our bowl. Get ourselves a ladle, a spoon. Come in here, grab us a gnocchi and a vodka sauce. Take some of our microgreens from Anastella. This happens to be a garlic chive microgreen. I'm gonna put that on top. Like I said, these things are packed with flavor. Packed with flavor. Okay, let's give this a shot. So let's take, let's get a, let's get a fork. Come on in here. Yeah. No, he's got some bite to it. The extra garlic has a little bit of extra flavor too with that chive and garlic on the top. But you can taste the taste all the all the all the herbs and garlic and salt and pepper and everything that went into that. 
Also, you can serve this to anybody. And if you didn't tell them that it was dairy-free and gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, they wouldn't have a clue. So let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments below. And remember, food is good for everybody, whether you've got allergies or not. Have a good day.